Thank you. Yeah, and no, a lot of pressure on. You know, uh, for the team. You know, we needed a, a fast, uh, clear round, and of course, for me individually, I needed a fast, clear round. I was hoping I could get inside that 10 minutes three seconds. Uh, missed by one second, but you know, I'm delighted with the horse. Uh, Talk us through what happened out there on the course. Well, you know, we we had the advantage of going late and watching the others you had to set out right from the start and go for it and uh, so that's what I planned to do I had a little bit of a rough ride through fence three which uh, sort of slightly rattled me but the horse settled down quickly after that at about fence six my reins completely came undone in my hands and uh, so that was slightly uh, um, off-putting for a while um, but uh, I was always sort of just behind the time, just behind the time in the early part, which we knew we would be. Um, but you just had to keep taking chances, keep pushing, keep taking chances, and uh, the horse just kept responding. Going up the hill after the, the second water, I tried to tie my reins in a knot. I saw um, that. Yeah. Uh, which maybe cost me that one second, I don't know. And then the horse slipped on a turn, but you know, I'm delighted. Throughout the course, did you feel synergy with Campino? Listen, you don't have time to feel anything, you know, it's when you're going that quick, you know, things don't come up as smoothly as you'd like. Um, because he's a young horse and he's he's not used to going fast a lot of the time, you've just got to keep pushing. And when you push like that, you don't always have the, the best jumps, but he's a very good jumper. He uh, He never really gave me a moment's worry.